Welcome, guys. This is the last week of the North American Online League Season 8. And uh, you'll see by in the email. Thank you, everyone, for playing and supporting the NAOL. Great season. Great stuff. And season 9 will be open for sign-ups later today, so feel, up, feel free to sign up. The North American Online League is a very, very good um, way to play tournament level um, intensity games all the um, you know all online all at the um, um, comfort of home all right today we are responsible for these three games Jerry Jew oh it's dirty uh, hello hello hey <laughs> welcome Jerry Jerry <laughs> um, cool cool um Jerry is a um, star student of the New York Go Institute, um, uh, one of the star students. He is playing San Diego. Um, San Diego is um, oh Chris Humford. OK. All right. Jerry is actually an AGA three dime. Um, he's going to be very popular with the girls in two years when he goes to college. So. Um, um, okay. Whoa, whoa. Because I'm not already in college. I'm like... Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. My fault. Um, Jerry is already partying it up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see how the games go. Um, Jerry... I, get a, I get, a re get a review with the best teacher there is. <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. <laughs> um, also, uh, whenever you guys um, um, uh, a very good advice for you guys, uh, praise your opponents. Um, only good things will happen once you praise your opponents. Oh, okay. um, it's called the praise kill. Ah, I see. Yes, yes. Instead of the um, you, you know you disparage the opponent you praise them and then it's like ah and then at the end of the game usually you'll say things like ah if only um you had 20 more seconds to read out this variation you would have for sure beat me uh, or things like ah too bad you ran out of time if you had more time you would surely have won uh, yeah yeah uh, okay okay uh, Jerry, as a star student, is a very, very strong player. He plays Josekis very well. Uh, makes no offense. <clears throat> mm -hmm. <laughs> Jerry False information. Yeah. Jerry says no comment. <laughs> no, uh, <clears throat> okay, uh, this is um, really going in for the attack. Um, uh, another thing we could have done was to play a little bit softer. Uh, in my own personal experience, um, um, when I was Jerry's age, I I went for this kind of moves, and then Jerry is also going in with these kinds of um, very aggressive uh, play, which is a, a very good sign. So means uh, later Jerry will be as strong as I am, um, or at least he will play like I play. Um, so um, I said that because. Um, after I got into my 20s, my opponents gradually became stronger and stronger at fighting. And so this kind of um, very, very um, direct offense um, kind of um, stopped working. And uh, then I had to adapt and everything. So I hope in the future, Jerry will also adapt and um, yeah, yeah, and continue yeah. to succeed. Michael, I have a question. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, but I'm supposed to be very aggressive here, right? Because I'm like outnumbering my opponent's stones. Yep, yep. By a lot. Yep. Um, you are supposed to be aggressive here uh, because we are outnumbering the opponent's stones in this local area. It's a five on three situation. Yep. Um, yeah, absolutely right about this. Um, if you include the other ones, uh, the other white stones in the surrounding areas, then it's a little bit more even. And uh, secondly, um, uh, this is a thing that I have just heard 
um, this is a saying, and it's a great, great strategy, uh, which uh, which goes something like this. It's a it's a trendy um, TikTok term, which is uh, originally mm -hmm. in Chinese. I asked ChatGPT to translate it for me, and uh, it's translated. Um, Nature's top predators often take on the guise of prey or the form of prey, which means uh, the nature's top predators, most successful hunters in go terms, um, winners of fights often take the form of prey, uh, which means, um, you know, so for example, right here, uh, white is for sure the prey here. And if you attack the prey um, too much, uh, like Jerry does here, um, be uh, be careful because um, because prey is often very good at fighting as well. So uh, just uh, all, all good reasons to be careful. And I, I, I myself highly recommend this kind of a strategy, um, especially for dealing with people who are strong fighters. Uh, you know, they, they will just um, go after you. And if you take on the form of a prey and then you wait for him to come to you, you he exposes weaknesses and um, you counterattack. Oh, very, very, very good wise. stuff. This is uh, this is very often employed by um, the older players. When I was a teenager, I um, uh, I was the other side, and now I have become an old man. So um, uh, <laughs> yes, I have more of these. So uh, in this case, this is clearly um, uh, this is a very clear. Um, uh, example of, of this situation. So when white plays here, there are two. Let's see how white did this in the game. White extended, accepting the fight. Uh, another way that white could potentially respond is here and then cut. Um, both of these are uh, basically see black went for the attack against white, exposed some cuts, and white is trying to take advantage of this. Uh, this, for example, can easily happen. And uh, this will be a successful white if um, so. And the key is this cross cut right now. Uh, black making the other Atari will um, also not work very well for black. You can see that um, the hunter has become the hunted in this situation. Uh, so uh, at this time, uh, it's very, very important for black to, um, to uh, realize that you know, you know, attacking um, is often just as dangerous as defend, as, you know, as defending, um, uh, you, you know, uh, uh, as being attacked. So it's important for Black to um, step back and capture this stone here uh, right now with the move number four. This is a very, very, um, you know, this uh, this sense of danger, this um, fear is a very important part of. Um, of the game. Uh, okay, uh, so in the game, white chose to fight directly with this extent like this. So um, yeah, let's see how this fighting will go. White is pushing. So um, the variation we just showed is white going after black's top side, um, as the top two stones. In the game, white is going after black's side group. Um, um, which is another way to play, which is also reasonable. Um, however, uh, white black's side group had um, a few more stones, so um, uh, let's see what happens. So uh, white captures one stone, black connects very good, very good, and captures these three stones. And here's a um, here's a very good example of Jerry doing uh, the um, um, very very good offense, which is um, remember before um, the nature's nature's uh, most successful predators often take on the form of prey which means when you're attacking something it's very important for you to remain safe yourself and then um, sometimes uh, very often times in fact most of the time the best form of the attack in the game is actually making your own surrounding stones very very strong and this connect by black is a very good example of this. Um, so uh, 
good job. Um, as soon as long as black is strongly connected, there is no way white can escape. Um, there is just one uh, uh, weakness in black shape in this position, which is this um, attach um, uh, exposing two cuts um, like this. Um, but if black had an answer to this, maybe like this, um, maybe something else. I, either way, uh, if you if you have if black had a plan for this, then it's all good. Another possible move is here. Uh, but this is the one weakness in black's corner shape. Um, okay, let's see if white white is able to find it. And this is um, this is going to be a very tough um, tough spot for black now. I'm sure Jerry regretted his uh, connect on the outside a little at this time. Oh, yes. Um, yes, yes. And uh, yes. this this is a um, this turns into a liberty race, um, and um, this is a good move if black just connects. It's not. It's likely that black. Um, uh, if black plays here, for example, black is going to lose the liberty race by one, and if black plays something like this and. If this block happens, this is also black losing the liberty race by one. So um, this this push is very, very important. White blocks, um, important white does not want to play this. Um, this gives black the back door um, to the, the back door, yes. Uh, OK, so now uh, because of what we just showed, this move is a very good um, it's a good time to play this peep. Likely white will um, uh, will 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 connect, but um, uh, uh, you know if if you've calculated this out, then uh, this is totally fine. And um, okay, very good reading by black over here. And uh, I can also read, so I'm gonna see how. Uh, is going to win this liberty race if white plays on the outside. Um, black will fill any liberties, and this is a classic um, um, black winning the liberty race. So for white, it's very important to go start from the corners and then connect like this. Um, if black Ataris this way, this is going to be um, white winning by one liberty. So black is not going to Atari at two. Maybe, um, well, black can play this and that, that would work. So uh, very good reading by black overall. Um, so therefore, um, white has to push and cut and look for some compensation elsewhere. And um, in times like this, also, uh, if some uh, attach like this, um, if you can attach and expand your liberties, push your opponent back, um, um, definitely do it. This one um, allowed this, and uh, this local um, this loco fight was won by Black. So very, very good job by, um, by Jerry in this situation. Uh, the important move here is when white connects, black plays here. Okay, um, so very successful. Okay, and here, um, this seems like a very defensive um, um, uh, a strategy by black after capturing a very big position. And white is accordingly playing very, very aggressively. Um, okay, and so here, um, um, okay, let's see what happens here. And noticeably, black is very far ahead at this time. So to continue with the theme um, that black played before of being very defensive and um, playing simple. Um, so for example, uh, another way to play simple is to um, make all these exchanges and then maybe we can get Sente to play on the outside. Another one is to try to be a little bit light and then uh, just just maybe jump uh, in the game. Um, and another idea is to not connect here and uh, go go very very fast. When white threatens your three stones, you tend to key again 
and when it captures the tenu key again. So that's another way to, to do this. Um, so um, here's another good idea, a very good uh, defensive strategy that uh, involves you settling uh, the situation, going on to the next part of the game, um, reducing a complicated position. Um, a very common uh, good technique is to make your shapes as light as possible so that when your opponent goes after your shapes, you can easily sacrifice them. And um, this way, um, so for example, we're jumping, white peeps somehow, we're ignoring him again, white cuts, um, and then we're ignoring white again. So that's another way to, to do this. Um, um, and of course, the other, another idea is to try to get sente as often as possible. Um, okay. And along the same theme of um, um, safety, here is a good opportunity for Black to play this one and double Hane in the, um, in the spirit of safety. So uh, white, maybe white has to do this. Um, and then, you know, we can start surrounding the top. We can also, of course, continue to fight in the middle. Um, white could also jump. Um, in this case, we can play this move in Sente, threatening the middle. White probably will not play here, which is all the way on the inside. Uh, white probably will not want to play this. White has bigger ambitions than this. Um, but if white doesn't play uh, this M9 move, he has to play something like this, something like this. And then um, we have more sentence on the outside. Um, remember, play 11, 12 first, and then play these attachments. And um, um, at the end of the day here, this is a, a wraparound operation from Black, taking a lot of influence on the outside, uh, just giving up a few stones in the middle. Um, this could be another great way to reduce the complexity of the game and sort of um, um, win the game uh, very, very quickly, uh, sort of ev let everything settle down. Um, uh, so this is an opportunity to do this. Um, OK, and it's in the spirit of what Black was doing earlier, which is rather you know conservative, um, uh, safe play. OK. Um, so there's nothing safer than to let a few of your stones get captured. Then there is absolutely no risk. Um, okay, uh, in the game, this is a fighting move. This is also, of course, also valid. Um, okay, white plays here and uh, double harness, and so we have another fight uh, occur, which is okay. Um, one thing to note for this shape, uh, we'll often see this shape. Um, white has these two stones and uh, these two stones, and we have this cut. Um, and very often, because we know the capture from white is this net, it's very enticing for us as black to also want to play this move. Um, however, the uh, more preferred moves are to press on one side and then jump, press on one side, and then play here. Um, um, this is the more preferred method. It's more tighter. And um, um, if you can push and jump, of course, you want to push and jump. So uh, just, a, just a shape note. Um, this move is very powerful when uh, is very often played when black is relatively weak in the area. And uh, black is looking for something like, um, like for white to capture the one stone and then to give up the one stone, something like this. So um, when you when you're weaker and when you are um, when you are looking for uh, some kind of a sacrifice strategy, uh, play the kosumi. When you're stronger and looking to fight or to um, damage your opponent a lot, play the push and then either the jump or the um, empty triangle turn. OK. Um, and uh, this is why. Um, so um, OK, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, will this capture white? 
Um, the reason why we prefer the other way is that uh, imagine if um, so imagine if black had played both of these centers, then um, it would be relatively um, uh, sure that we can capture the middle. So um, okay, uh, the the press is more uh, forceful and it is more tight rather than this Kasumi move, which is more loose. Uh, okay. Um, okay. Oh wait, uh, I have a question though. Yes. Yes. So it. So is it? Because here I was. I was kind of worried about white taking the entire corner. Is that too greedy for me? Uh, black is very worried about white taking the whole corner. Of, of yeah. course. Um. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. This was black's corner. Of course, we never want the opponent to take our corner. Uh, it's absolutely right, Jerry. You say that you are greedy, but then you have played uh, this middle move here. So this oh, is a very conservative. Um, I'll capture the middle five stones kind of a move. So white is not oh. really, you know, black is not really being greedy. So uh, <laughs> so, so so it's okay. Um, okay. Alternatively, of course, black can connect, and that would be very strong. Of course, white is going to be able to connect back the uh, middle five stones. And this fight will continue on. Um, um, so it's it's OK, um, totally OK. Um, good, so white got some compensation. Um, now, uh, now that black has captured the middle five stones uh, with a lot of liberties for this black group, it's important for us to realize that uh, our group here is uh, is now very very strong. We've captured five stones, pretty safe. So, any additional uh, territory that comes from this group, uh, for example, the territory we get capturing two stones is just uh, just a few points. It's not that important. So uh, it is much um, more attractive for black to do something that survives in the corner somehow. Um, and uh, this is not likely to work, so much better for black to maybe extend, force white to um, play a move here. Uh, we're going to keep crawling until white plays a move here, and then take the upper side. Uh, both of these will be um, superior options to capturing the one stone on the, on the right side, because we've already captured the, the five stones. Um, Okay, uh, okay, yeah, so 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 this is us taking a very small uh, move. However, uh, black is doing quite well in all of the fighting. Um, yep, yep, and here's the important move. I'm sure Jerry will come up with it, the Hane, and this uses the attack against white to um, uh, to save the middle black stones and saving your stones is also keeping the middle white stones captured. So very good. Um, okay. Um, yeah, that uh, that was okay. Um, just note that um, this move, all these moves are sente for black. This move is sente as well. Um, but if black just connects, uh, white may play this to protect the cut. So, OK. OK. Uh, again, uh, this is a loose move with the Kasumi. The tight move is to push. Uh, even if you have to empty triangle out uh, like this, um, it is often preferred. In this case, though, um, just to read it out and um, don't, don't mess this up. <clears throat> um, OK, in this case, um, this Kosumi may be superior to the normal shape. But you guys, just remember the normal shape. You always want to be as tight as possible. OK. Um, so black place here. Does black need another move in the middle? Uh, this is 5 on 4, so no. But if white is able to. Um, get the uh, get the liberties when black will be behind by one, but there's no way that uh, white can white can do this. So 
um, so black has kept the middle captured in Sente. Good job. Good. Uh, so throughout this game, black has displayed a superior fighting to white. Um, uh, right now, um, and and has displayed a lot of very strong reading as well. If uh, black uh, finished this game by Tanuki in the middle right now, letting the uh, strong read take over, and um, um, that would have been perfect. Um, okay. Uh, okay. So okay, some more moves. Okay. So now the game is transitioning into an uh, end game. However, uh, White was unable because of the uh, sentence against the middle. Uh, White was unable to keep the bottom territory, and this game ended. So a very, very good fighting. And um, uh, you guys will often also see the same thing. Uh, remember, the theme of this game is the uh, nature's top predators often take on the form of prey, which is um, you can pro you can like you can attack your opponent and capture most of your opponent. Um, you can often accomplish this the best by posing as prey and getting your opponent to attack you. So we saw this early on in the game. Here, um, this was black attacking white. And from Black's um, very aggressive play, you can see that um, you can see that Black did expose some weaknesses, and um, um, so so this this was part of the scene. Um, however, in the ensuing fight, uh, White barely lost the uh, Liberty race, and so fight number one went to Black overwhelmingly. And so later on in the middle here. Um, we can see that you know white is a little bit desperate, went for um, the attack against this middle black group, even though black um, um, did fix this to begin the fight. This move, this jump move, the only function is fixing black's shape, maybe limiting white's potential territory. Um, but this is a very slow strengthening move from black, and white is going in for the capture against this group. Um, so this this is Jerry um, doing the um, doing the the theme strategy of today, which is the um, nature's top predator often poses as prey. So here um, white is coming in to attack black. Mm, um, obviously white thinks that capturing this group is the only way that white would um, win the game capturing or you know capturing something for free um, and as a result white got captured instead in the middle the compensation of capturing black's corner is very big but it was um, you know uh, at this point white had assessed that it's probably you know not enough and so white went for more um, more of this um, desperate looking fights in the middle and um, as a result, um, as a result, uh, white being unable to defend the bottom territory, um, this could not be continued. Okay, very good game. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, I enjoyed watching this very much. Um, let's go on to the next. Thank you for the review. The Thank very, you, Jay. Very beautiful. Beautiful analogies you had. <laughs> uh, hope you um, hope Jerry when you uh, when you meet those old sly fox players, uh, yes. uh, foxy players, both in terms of the uh, older and wise sort of uh, wily uh, players and fox players like the fox go server players, <laughs> will use today's idea very very well. I will. I will. <laughs> Cool. Uh, next, we have Eric Osman uh, versus Drazi. Drazi is a cool name. Uh, Drazi is actually Neo Ritter. Um, Eric Osman, I've already uh, reviewed two or three of his games in the previous seasons as well. So, I, And I met this person in real life in Boston. Um, 
Okay, um, so we have some familiarity. Um, let's see how this game went. Um, from my experience before, Eric can um, can is a relatively safe player and can use um, a little bit of um, speed up to his uh, play. And here we'll see one example. This move is a um, um, slow and steady move, and um, his opponent uh, White is going to be playing. Um, you know, trying to dance around. Okay, so slow and steady looks like uh, looks like the slow and steady is winning the race so far this game. Um, uh, the slow and steady Hane connect was met with a um, Tanuki, and this Hane captured the white corner. Big success. Of course, a white white needs to um, defend this now and then uh, defend the outside later. Um, okay, so uh, big success for black. Here you see another slow and steady extension. Um, this is this is fine though. Uh, this is very fine. Uh, one thing that we can do when we want to make a slow and steady move like this is to try to get some kind of a profit in Sente. Uh, for example, this attach is a good one now. Uh, right now, the two stones are very, very big because um, after black captures two stones, uh, he links up the two groups with which he's capturing the corner, and then this would eliminate all the corner RG, and that would be very, very big, uh, very, very um, strong and thick. So, um, so, so this is striking at a time when the two two white stones are very very valuable. So after this move, for example, if uh, something happens here later with these exchanges, black is now basically alive on both sides. Now, if you go after the two stones, white will not care about that because your two your two sides are already safe enough. So there's so there's no more. Um, there's no more uh, thickness value to capturing the two stones. Uh, there's very, relatively little thickness value to the stones. But one thing to realize, guys, um, with thickness is uh, the greatest thickness value comes from making your weak stones strong and not from making your strong stones very, very strong. That's overkill, and we don't want to do that. So um so the greatest thickness value often does not come with the strongest of thicknesses um i hope that makes sense which mean we, so so basically this means the stronger you are the less thickness value you have uh, because you're redundant and you're making your thickness a little bit even stronger, which doesn't matter as much. Uh, the greatest thickness value comes from making your weak stones, uh, uh, your very weak stones, a little bit strong, rather than from making your medium stones very, very strong. Hope that makes sense to you guys. Um, okay. All right, so now black comes after, goes after the white um, right side. Here, um, here there is one thing to watch out for. So remember, now that we have played here as black, uh, the next few exchanges are, well, okay. Uh, so probably to continue the attack, black would extend. And here you gotta watch out that um, you have made white relatively weak. Therefore, the greatest amount of thickness value comes from white making this this group stronger and for example not from white like making a very thick corner here for example and uh, once white does this the corner has um you know there's there's one two three four you know four five six seven uh well at least six liberties uh, which is not a small amount, so um, and there's a co possibility, so um, you know black may find it a bit unappeasing, unappealing to have to um, want to to play all these moves inside your territory to capture and to um, you know maybe you maybe this becomes a liberty race and um, 
So uh, right now, Black um, stops uh, stops the first plan and uh, um, you know continues to strengthen this group. Very good idea, and it's a very good and nice steady play. Um, um, so um, this is a very this is um, this is a very good turn uh, turnaround. A very good um, um, sort of I see myself going down a bad direction, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop. Um, this is really stopping on a dime, and um, so so Eric here displays a lot of um, um, flexibility in thinking, and so that's very very good to have as a go player. Okay, uh, White is um, making a big moyo. So we have a classic um, potential territory versus territory um, game. <clears throat> and so here we're going to start to see uh, what we just talk about, talked about. So this move uh, was very good. It's making a medium strong shape very strong. But now Black is al already fairly strong. The next move here is not going to be as valuable because um, you know black has already invested here. Okay. 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 This is reasonable. Um, however, um, um, uh, if the two cuts are a thread, then uh, black has done a very good thing. However, in this case, it's not clear that the cuts are a big problem for white. Um, uh, just for example, black in this cut, white would happily capture these stones. And um, <clears throat> later when white plays here, there would be no more cuts whatsoever. And black may end up having to defend in the corner uh, one more time because of this kind of agi, just for example, this, it's impossible to capture the corner without ko, or it's very difficult to, um, um, and, and, you know, and if black doesn't capture white, white will capture black, um, you know, white counterattacks the black group. So um, it doesn't seem like um, black is really threatened, is able to threaten white very much, and so um, rather than saving the two stones, per, probably black would rather play this extension and make the corner much, much bigger. Of course, the um, left-hand side is very, very big as well. Okay, so, so getting Gote here in the middle is um, another sign of the slow, um, slow and steady play. However, in this case, it is not very steady. The white expands again. Um, and and yeah, now black invades. This is gonna live for sure, no problem there. Uh, this jump, uh, this jump is often played when black has a stone here. Uh, normally, here the most conservative that white plays uh, in this kind of a corner is this move. Um, this ensures that the corner will not live, uh, not survive. Um, either way. Um, um, this ensures that black cannot survive in any corners, and it's the biggest corner, uh, most influential corner, most um, effect on the outside. Another move is here. This is more thick. This move, um, it's on the second line, and very often uh, when there's no opponent stones around, moves on the second line usually are not the move you're making to surround the territory. So uh, this iron pillar move is superior because um, the um, these sorts of um, sente attachments are not as um, um, you know these attachments. Uh, this move deals with those a little bit and accomplishes the same thing of protecting all the territory. And right now for white, another idea is to start more complications in this kind of a, a, a spot. Uh, push and cut can be strong. Push and peep can be strong. Just imagine something like this. Um, and for example, we had seen, we had said before some move like here, it would protect the cutting weaknesses and is very likely to be sent against the corner. Another very strong play is to attack the corner by surrounding the white corner. 
attack the side black group by surrounding the white corner. This uh, this uses the fact that white has an extra stone in this area, very strong. Um, of course, other ideas include things like trying to make a ko and use the aji of the upper right side. Um, try to make um, some exchanges here. Of course, if black is, um, um, you know, if black plays something like like the following, for example, um, you know, something like this, um, white has accomplished um, um, many exchanges on the outside versus the inside. Next move, play here, um, um, attack, attack the middle. When black takes care of the middle, splits the middle, and then uh, black is now in some real danger with one of the two groups. Note when black Ataris here, remember when two, when your stones are near the when your stones are super strong or when your opponents are super strong, you don't need to save um, you know the, the the neighboring stones at all. So this Atari is Gote, for example. Um, okay, so, so so some many many ideas for white here, um, but defending this territory is um, probably the least active, and um, let's see if um, if it uh, if it becomes enough. Um, so for the same reason, um, um, uh, even though white played a relatively slow move uh, here, um, white played a very good. Um, uh, sacrifice strategy. Note how before this, the three stones on the side is the weakest part of the moyo, of this moyo. And now white has just played two moves in sente to strengthen this part, strengthening the weakest part of the moyo, which is um, very, very strong. And white is uh, surrounding territory extremely efficiently. And this move we talked about before, it is uh, making white alive on the right-hand side. Note how, in this case, the greatest thickness value comes from white making this group, which is very weak, into an alive shape, which is very strong, and not from white making this uh, relatively strong shape and making it even stronger like this, right? Um, yeah, so the greatest amount of thickness value comes from uh, uh, almost always they don't come from the greatest amount of actual thickness so if you are a thickness kind of a player don't be looking to um, have like a great thick strong wall instead look to uh, make your weaker stones stronger and they will not be um, you know, super strong. There will not be Superman groups, but they will give you the most amount of uh, value. Okay, and this is a great move by Black here. Um, this is reducing White's eye space to the maximum extent possible, and Black is rewarded by capturing two stones in Sente now. This kind of aggression uh, very often pays off. Um, on White's side, um, you know, something like this is is um, is very strong. Uh, next move, white can um, you know play the attach and then do this. So very very good. Um, so um, in the game, um, black is rewarded um, with um, capturing two stones in sente with this uh, by this um, aggressive play, but. Right after that, black plays a very, def you know, a very. Uh, there's no way this move is gonna die, so it is probably a very, you know, it airs on the call on the side of caution. Okay, reasonable. Okay, so attacks happen, and so here again, uh, this is um, another example of what we talked about the theme of this game, the greatest amount of. Thickness value comes not from making something that's super super strong. Don't you know? It's the greatest uh, thickness value is not in making Superman groups unbreakable positions like this one. It is in making your um, you know your corner totally solid. It is making your middle solid like this. 
um, it is these kinds of moves, you know, not the, uh, not this one. Okay, so um, in the game, black strikes at white's weakness in the middle, and boy, boy, um, um, boy, does black um, get paid as a result. So, um, yeah, black destroyed half of white's moyo and captured white's moyo to destroy it. Uh, super success. I think white was very disappointed with this, and as a result, white simply resigns right here, right now. I don't blame white for this. Um, um, yeah, I, I'm sure white was um, really regretting this um, tiger mouse move after uh, after what happened. So remember, guys, theme of the game, always defend your relative weakness. And the greatest, you, you know, if you like to play with thickness, if you like to make thickness, um, that sort of thing. Um, just always remember the greatest value of thickness, the greatest thickness value always comes from making your weakest group stronger. It never comes from making Superman uh, unbreakable positions. It always comes from um, patching up, like, uh, you know, patching up, not uh, the Great Wall. Right. Okay. Um, very good fighting by uh, Black in this game. Uh, for White, um, there were many good moments, and um, here White has White White likely saw some rays of hope, um, but uh, White was unable to in the uh, most important juncture. White did not protect where he needed to protect the most. Another possible idea is here, um, and uh, he paid the ultimate price. So uh, very instructive game. All right. So today's theme, um, two themes are very good. Um, OK. And here we have come to the third game. Um, just remember, the first game we watched, uh, the, the theme is Nature's top predators often take on the form of prey, so be careful when you attack your opponent and uh, when you are under attack. Um, you know, you don't be um, don't be like I have to defend all the time. That sort of thing. Be calm and look for counterattacking chances. Uh, okay, um, here is the last game of today. This is Kurt versus Howard. Ah, Howard, um, Howard was a very nice guy from New York City. I met him in real life at Go tournaments. And uh, Howard has a headset that's very like my headset right now. In fact, I um, patterned my headset off of uh, Howard's. Um, very, uh, very cool guy. Very fashionable as well. Okay, let's see how this game went. Howard is playing white, and um, immediately we have this uh, very complex um, Joseki. The simple Joseki is black plays here or here, white plays here or here, and we have um, each person takes one side kind of a game. Uh, this is the uh, this is black's uh, variation where he wants to uh, take both sides. I know there is a Joseki that goes like this, um, like this, so somehow. Um, um, that's where black takes both sides, but white has a very strong, thick shape. Panuki, uh, this extend, um, I think, yes, yes, okay. Ah, okay, so white. Uh, can play here, and then it's going to be a complicated fight on the bottom. Um, um, do experiment with this. Um, um, the key is white does not want to let black take both sides. E easily take both <laughs> both sides. So in the game, white wanted a little bit more strength, which is reasonable. So and black tenukiing at this time is also reasonable. 
so now it's up to um, both sides to um, come to a um, um, uh, well yeah so so black succeeded in taking both sides but white also succeeded in making his group very strong and building up a wall um, for the outside okay about equal um, this is a common move and the tanuki is also a common move so both of these players are well studied in their ai knowledge good 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 job this is a common ship too so very high quality opening um, i don't think either side lost more than a point on any of these moves so uh, uh, an ai point on any of these moves so good job um, here um, white would like to use this cut as much as possible so one idea is to play this one um, and then this one uh, this is just an idea. The amount we give up uh, in the panuki may be too much, but this is a this is an idea. Um, of course, white can also oh, uh, but so that's an idea. Um, in the game, white chose this, also reasonable. Now the cut is also possible. See if white cut. White played the normal joseki. Um, the only thing to watch out for when playing the normal Joseki at this time is that Black's two moves here to begin the beginning the fighting had weaknesses with the cuts. And if Black is able to capture the two white stones without weaknesses, white cannot be satisfied. So a simple um, a simple exchange like um, like cut. Uh, cut Atari would sort of make this move not work, right? Um, okay, but those are just some ideas. Um, these will not be game deciding. Uh, this move leaves a glaring weakness, and um, um, this this is a huge problem for Black. So uh, when White plays here, Black has to connect. And then black cannot cut this way because of this. Black can only cut this way. Um, so if white were to get a um, some kind of a turn and get black to answer, this would be extremely strong um, and very, very favorable for white. Um, almost impossible to prevent uh, black will find it almost impossible to not lose anything here. Um, this is probably the strongest uh, response, and then uh, a big fight, um, liberty fight, is going to uh, ensue. Very complicated. And of course, you know, white's safety move is just extending here. Uh, note how black is unable to capture white, uh, white's cutting stones. Okay, so um, that's a weakness. So probably we'll recommend black play this move. There's no more weaknesses then. Uh, in the game, white did turn, so this is good. This is quite good. Um, okay, and so here we see that um, you know black captured one space further, but um, all these centes are going to be very difficult for black to um, to deal with. Um, um, yeah, yeah, the the Aji in the corner is very bad. For example, um, something like this could happen, and then uh, key move the reverse tiger smiles makes a co. Uh, okay, so let's see how black um, how white plays this this. Okay, so taking some profit on the outside first. This is fine. Um, Okay, uh, white couldn't figure out what to do in the on the inside, so that's reasonable. Um, okay, of course another move would be here, and here it's important to realize once white gets a turn, then this becomes very strong. Um, note how black only has a few liberties on the outside. So, um, so 
when black hunnets this turn can be a very strong move uh, the key is um, white wants the situation to look like this this turns into a ko uh, white wants the situation to look like this where black is spending all the moves capturing white and the white takes the corner for free so that's where white could potentially gain from this uh, now that there's no more uh, issues in the corner game uh, evens up okay this is a common shape okay um, and this is a common life and death shape where uh, black is not able to live uh, like this um, so this is not enough space um, to survive as black therefore black has to move um, you know expand the ice space on the outside first and then live like this okay in the game white played white played here um okay but uh, you know the capture could always happen i think i think both sides are misreading this situation um, however here um again um this is a strong move by white and remember back to the theme of today nature's greatest predators often take the form of prey white plays here when black goes after white goes after the prey very bad things happen because the prey in this case is actually the hunter and now we have uh, black is able to finally catch the stone the prey however white has it's it's like a bait and white has now surrounded the entire white black group here destroyed all the side territory so this is now favoring greatly favoring white um right mm -hmm. cool cool good uh good uh good stuff um so i i think i think the ai the jagged ai line is saying that um at all times uh both sides should capture this. Um, if you guys are in doubt, uh, you know, not the strongest life and death problem reader, me too, I don't read all the life and death very well either. Uh, uh, remember this, um, it's a very common way to not only capture, but also to take advantage of the opponent, reduce the opponent's ice space and here this is a great move to reduce the ice space it's also solidifying your territory it's it's going to be sente at the very least um, even if black can survive like this right so just uh, play this move in sente it's a huge sente move um, when when your opponent plays this <coughs> your opponent gets sente and he damages your side territory and it makes a couple more points himself so it's a huge move <coughs> and uh, so why don't we try it after black response somehow here then we can figure out what what to do uh, we can we can see say this say, see this uh, we can capture black but oh no uh, black is able to uh, cut here and then survive by capturing his way out therefore now we have to play this move um, now we can capture black and black place there and now we can capture this this group so um so you know we can we don't have to figure everything out all at once we can definitely go one step at a time and these um clear do ataris clear do centes centes that are worth um positive amounts of um, value just plays them and then maybe you'll discover something good right afterwards um, okay so in the game uh, the fighting continues on the bottom this connect is very good it's a very good technique as well um, okay black place here. here's also a very good defensive technique there was a major weakness with this attach um, so this so black fixed that okay and the game continues uh, a very exciting game here the um, this move is a very good uh, shape move it is again it's attacking black for sure taking away ice space it is also 
uh, making the this white group much much stronger. So this kind of um, offensive and the, you know good play both offensively and defensively is very very um, good. Uh, in the game, white neglected this weakness in white's shape, this um, um, unable to connect weakness, and so this attack is going to fall very, um, is going to fail. Um, and so some sentes are played. And see, um, very often when you commit to attacking the opponent, you also put yourself at the greatest risk. Here, the black group was a bait. Nature's top predators often take the form of prey. And so white comes for, goes after this group, and ah, voila, and um, white is the one getting captured. Here, I'm sure this is a tilt move. White is saying, I can't believe I screwed this up so badly. Ah, connect, get captured. Okay, and then the resign. This is uh, the go player's form of the rage quit. <laughs> So, uh, uh, so too bad that the game ended like this. Um, now, given that um, this is a huge um, failure, but um, you know, if you know, you know, as a go player, we often fail spectac spectacularly as well. Um, if White had the um, thick skin to continue this game. Uh, maybe uh, you can you can see the difference is ten points or so. Maybe white can still find a good way to come back. After all, white was just twenty points ahead earlier. Um, you know, this is also why I resigned very very late. And um, um, yeah, who knows? White plays here, black plays here. We can play these moves, and then all of a sudden, uh, now white should be winning again. Uh, well, now it's very, very even. Black is still ahead a little. But here you can, can see, um, um, yeah, don't rage quit. Even at this moment, white is still ahead. Um, um, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, 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 really a tragedy. Um, really a tragedy. In fact, white can now, um, you know, even Atari like this, and maybe black doesn't want to um, have this position, right? Uh, maybe, um, uh, you know, black needs to capture now, but, you know, this, this, so maybe black plays here, and then black's like, I don't want that exchange, black extends, and then white plays here. Now black's like, uh-oh, this is now this ladder, and maybe now black rage uh, rages, and, and and we have this position, um, you know. So, um, um, what what does this leave us? The overall gist of this game is, um, don't be too discouraged, and um, um, fight smart. Be careful when you're attacking, and. Um, uh, don't give up, especially don't give up mentally. And Black did a very good job this game um, uh, of this, continuing to fight. And uh, White, um, uh, a little bit of a, a self-disappointed uh, rage quit. Maybe it was a simple misread, um, but uh, very exciting and truly um, one that befits um, the Shakespearean tragedy of Go. All right. Uh, well, uh, thank you guys for uh, tuning in. Um, um, see you guys in the next season. Sign up. This is a very good tournament. Um, yeah, you, you get many, many reviewers. So, like, for example, uh, today we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven reviewers, some professional reviewers as well. So, um, so um, yeah, definitely uh, play this and uh, see you guys next time. Thank you.